Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me today in this presentation on message design accessibility. My name is Veronica Johnson, and today we will explore the crucial concept of web accessibility and its significance in message design. While browsing TikTok videos, I came across a blogger who reviews food at different travel destinations. My husband and I have been following his videos for restaurant recommendations. However, we noticed that his videos lack captions, which became the inspiration for my final project. I will focus on improving accessibility with a central focus of web accessibility. With such a large following of 1 million users, it is essential to provide an inclusive experience for all. To begin, let's define what accessibility means in the context of message design. Accessibility refers to creating content and designing messages that can be accessed, understood, and interacted with by all individuals, regardless of their abilities or disabilities. The goal should be to provide equal opportunities and inclusivity for everyone ensuring that no one faces barriers to accessing information and engaging with digital content. Accessibility is a key aspect of usability, and when it's integrated with the design process, many users can benefit. Research shows that approximately 20% of the U.S. population are classified as people with disabilities, making the need for accessibility even more significant. Moreover, it is essential to recognize that everyone can become disabled at any time, emphasizing the importance of accessibility for all. Why is considering accessibility important? According to the research conducted by the World Health Organization, one in seven individuals worldwide experience some form of disability. Common types are visual and hearing impairments, language barriers, limited physical movement, learning and speech disabilities, cognitive limitations, and sensitivity to light or color. The importance of accessibility and equal opportunities for all in the digital age has grown significantly. Various approaches such as design for all, universal access, and inclusive design focus on enhancing the accessibility of interactive systems. These approaches aim to create products with easily adaptable and customizable user interfaces to, con to cater to different users. The Web Accessibility Initiative of W3C, initiated in 1997, was established to provide principles and guidelines on making web content more accessible to people with disabilities. Users should be able to perceive perceive the presented information with their senses. They should also be able to interact with the interface and comprehend the information and the user interface operation. It should not be beyond their understanding. Users should also be able to access the content as technologies evolve. It should remain accessible as technologies and user agents evolve the content should remain accessible. Now let's talk about some guidelines that should be followed in respect to accessibility. I will not cover all of them, but highlight a few. If any of these conditions are not met, individuals with disabilities will face barriers while using the web. You should include text alternative for non-text content. Captions, live or pre-recorded, should be used to make sure that all live audio content is synchronized and accompanied with captions. Instead of using actual text, prefer you should use actual text instead of images of text. Avoid using color alone to convey information. Indicate actions or prompt responses. To enhance accessibility for the visually impaired users, consider using text-based PDFs instead of image-based ones. 
ensuring accurate content reading by screen readers. Multimedia accessibility should be used for individuals with hearing impairments, included with using captions and videos. To ensure a functionality can be assessed by using a keyboard to accommodate users who cannot use a mouse. To prevent seizures, avoid incorporating anything that flashes more than three times in a one second period on pages. Provide accurate translations of all texts so that different languages can have the opportunity to translate information. Web accessibility is not only a matter of compliance with regulations, it's an ethical and social responsibility. One of the same, on the same bloggers page, as I mentioned on the onset, I found one video that contained captions. Why only one video? I'm not sure, but I do know that in order to make content accessible to a wider range of users, it involves following specific guidelines that address various disabilities including blindness, low vision, deafness, and hearing loss, learning disabilities, cognitive limitations, limited movement, speech disabilities, and photosensitivity. By incorporating features like text alternatives for images, keyboard-only navigation, customizable color contrast, and multimedia accessibility, we can improve our experiences for all. Designing with accessibility in mind benefits not only individuals with disabilities, but also improves the overall user experience for everyone. Accessible content is easier to understand, navigate, interact with, and leading to higher user satisfaction and engagement. Moreover, accessible design contributes to the inclusivity and diversity, diversity of your audience, fostering a sense of belonging and trust. In conclusion, accessibility is not just an option, it's a fundamental aspect and responsibility of ethical message design. By embracing web accessibility, we can create a more equitable and inclusive digital world where everyone has the opportunity to access information and engage with content. As we move forward, let's commit to making accessibility a standard practice in our message design endeavors. I'd like to appreciate you for listening to my presentation. Thank you.